I am here today to review um, a flute, and they're sold by um, Kulig, um, is the store on the line on Amazon, sells them, and it's a Bentoni 16-key um, nickel-plated um, flute. It's the closed hole key style, um, so, and this is a beautiful case it, it comes in. I had to take it out of the box and play with it earlier, and um, I homeschool my son, and we're going to start my music, and um, so we're going to start on the flute. Um, and it's readless, so it's perfect. I played oboe for nine years, um, played a little bit of flute, played a little bit of violin, um, so I was really excited about um, getting back to a flute. I'm not going to play for you because <laughs> it's been way too long, um, but I was able to get a good sound, and the key is finding um, your mouth placement when you're first starting out, so I gave him um, the whole flute at first, and then we moved to just the head, but I want to show you how well it was wrapped in this box. I'm going to pull out some of the pieces to give you an example. How well cared for. Feel some of the little pieces. I saved everything so I could show you. Okay. So, the, um, you, know, you know, take the box out. I love the case. Um, the case, let's go over the case. Um, it's great because this case, there's no second guessing um, how to open it because of this. Because I don't know about you, uh, but I had many a friend open their case, you know, because you're not paying attention to get the band class. You're talking to your friends. You're chit-chatting like that. Well, well girls are chit-chatting like that. And um, they'll open their case upside down and dump their expensive instrument on the floor. And it's expensive to get an instrument fixed. It's, it's costly. So this case is a no-brainer, but um, you could put a sticker you know, let them decorate the top of their case if they want, so they'll know which ones, which way is the top. Um, it's a perfect um, beginner's flute setup. I'm really excited about it. it has a good, strong handle, um, and these are the um, the nickel hinges um, on the bottom. Okay, so let me open it up on my lap, <laughs> and I'll carefully turn it around and show you. So this is um, it's very, see the squishy. It's very nicely padded case. And it has a place for everything to go. Each piece, when it arrived, was wrapped in um, the soft cloth. And then on top of the soft cloth um, was a plastic bag. So each piece was impeccably wrapped. And not only that, um, they had these little teeny tiny, teeny tiny <laughs> little plastic wedges under, um, like, um, sort of the, under the bar areas and stuff. So there would be no pressure or pulling and no damage to um, everything, make sure everything was aligned properly. Because when you're playing an instrument, um, just um, bending the bar or, or the key, just even like a fraction of a millimeter, will really um, affect the function of the instrument and the sound. Um, you may get leaking around the keys, um, and that's expensive to fix. You think you, millimeters, it's it's more your money millimeters. <laughs> that's what I've been in business, <laughs> fixing instruments. So um, that was on the pack. Let me get that out of my way. And then you get a little bit of um, a little container. There's a slot for it. So um, when you run out, save it. And then you can put your own, um, you know, the grease in if you need to um, put it around the joint to slip um, the flute together. I almost said oboe. They include in here a little screwdriver, too. Um, you know, you might want to take this out and do the, you know, tightening and everything yourself until your child really gets proficient in that or unless it's for yourself. You know, you can keep it in there. Um, if you're new at it, um, when you're picking up, oh, they also have, and I'm going to keep them on here, um, end cap um, covers to help keep the, the shape, proper shape. It should be a circle. So if, you, if you're noticing the shape changing, your child's either um, doing this, putting their flute together, you know, going in like this. Um, or or they're shoving it in. <laughs> you want it when you put it in. You want to try and hold it with the non-key parts, and you're going to want to um, you know twist it on, twist it on. And the lineup, um, how you line it up, really depend. You know, when you're putting your flute together, it really is going to depend on um, your arm length, your hand length. You know, you know between the span of your fingers, how you're going to touch the keys, because sometimes you'll need to move things in, in, in what your chin is. It's always different for every, you got to fiddle with it. Every person is going to find it um, their own way. And so the, these have the closed keys. See, there's no, and closed keys means there's no, um, it's hard to hold without grabbing onto a key. <laughs> I'm trying not to hold onto the keys or the bar. Um, 
there's no hole in the center because there'll be a hole in the center of the keys. Um, and so if you're, I guess, I guess, I guess the new movement in uh, North America is going to some of the open key. Um, there's no right or wrong. It's personal preference. Um, the holes, think of look how big the key is. And so if you're reaching, and this is more toward the end. So if you're reaching, you might not fully be able to cover that hole. So the closed hole, and if you have little teeny tiny fingers, you know, the closed hole is going to be um, much better suited. And you can hear it. The pad's really nice um, in there. If, if you can see inside the pad, you know, occasionally, you'll obviously, you'll have to have pads replaced. Um, but, you know, try and teach, you know, try and hold as best as you can. Put your finger in. And then inside this one also is the um, spit rack. <laughs> That's nicely called. Every instrument's going to need one. But you get the microfiber cloth. comes in a little Ziploc bag or somewhere in that pile. And then, of course, your rod. The rod will be stored inside the, um, like I had it, um, when it gets here. So just um, carefully look for that and pull it out. And it has that hole. So you can, um, you know, swap them out when you need to, to wash it, hopefully frequently. <laughs> and, um, but every time you play the flute, every time you'll get lazy, just quickly, um, this still has a little bit of fibers coming off of it, quickly wipe it through. Um, you want to make sure it stays nice and clean and, um, you know, you don't want it moist in there when you put it away. <laughs> Because when you're first starting out, you get a lot of, instead of trying to blow gently, you know, the, you get a lot of <laughs> spit going. It's real pretty. So they really, really need this in the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to put that back in there carefully. And then I'll pull out the other piece. So here's the head. The head of the flute. This is obviously easy to hold. You don't want to hold it over the mouthpiece either. That's soldered on. And um, you can see how nicely it's done. It's very nicely done all around. See, so that's the side you're going to be putting up um, toward your chin. And then you have another end cap for that to keep that nice and protective. So maybe I'm trying to spin that part on. And then here's the other part. The end is um, a little harder to hold, you know, without touching anything. Um, you can put your finger inside to hold it. And then when you're putting it on, um, you can try and have them like hold it like that when they first start to spin. And then they might have to gently touch a couple of the keys. Try not to push on the bar though. You know, I'd rather hold down a key and then push on the bar. So you want to try and do that. Um, the sound is um, really um, clear and um loud <laughs> by some was like oh! you know all the little kids when they start <laughs> um but um it was i was really impressed um i remember my first um wind instrument and um this is right up there they also send they're not sitting right here but they also send a pair of um gloves to um to handle it and make sure you know if you want to keep it clean and clean up all the fingerprints and everything but um this is a great little case What's great about starting a child off on a flute and it's so small, you know, and they have to carry it. Um, I remember my friend trying to carry a uh, bassoon. <laughs> her mom had to rent two, one to leave at school, one for home. That was really costly. Um, and as a starter price, instead of renting, I highly recommend at the price point this is that buying. Um, years ago, I mean, I'm not going to tell you all about it, but years ago, we paid, what, 20, 30 bucks a month, I think, for a an oboe rental and then my mom was like finally buying that <laughs> it was cheaper to buy because that adds up pretty quick and um you know um but this flute right now they have it you know prices fluctuate obviously on goods but at the moment they have it set at a hundred dollars online and um with prime shipping you just you can't beat that um but it's the bentoni 16 key nickel plated um the closed toll c flute um, I love it. I am so excited. Um, my son's excited. Um, if you're brand new, if you're on the fence, you know, it's still for the price. It's great to go. And then you can just let them um, practice on a soft surface like a couch or something. They drop it. <laughs> something soft or they're not going to bend it right away and take it in for that, you know, repairs. The MM set of millimeters costs mucho money. <laughs> so um, on a nice soft surface. Um, 
and then they could practice that first. Um, they're going to do a lot of practice for mouth placement. Mouth placement is um, key on the flute. You don't have a reed to wrap your lip around to figure that out. But you, if, you're, if your chin and mouth aren't lined up, you're not getting the sound through the flute. You're not getting anything through the flute. So, um, but it responded well, um, you know, just straight blowing. And then the, um, if you're trying to like a uh, to sound and then um, it's been a long time. I tried a little vibrato through there and it did pretty well. <laughs> So I was really excited about that. Um, so um, I, I'd give this two thumbs up. I'm highly impressed. I'm real picky. Like I said, you know, I've many years um, on it. So only if you look back and the one thing, because that was really good. The one thing I regret is actually not going into music professionally. So um, it's definitely worth um, every penny. I'm very impressed by this Bentoni um, flute um, from the Kulik store. So have a great day. Thank you.